Mayday, Mayday, Speedbird 2256, request fire services. Speedbird 2256, heavy. Fire services are on the way. SoCal departure Dublin 2118. We're 3700 common spot thousand and declaring an emergency. We're making a left down wind for a 27. Right here, down at 72 heavy. We're going to have to come back in and land. Are you declaring an emergency? Down at 72 heavy. We are declaring an emergency. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration estimates that between May 1973 and April 1993, 166 accidents were due to bogus parts. Speedbird 76 Heavy, we are evacuating over runway. We have a fire, I repeat, we are evacuating. Speedbird 76 Heavy, Roger. That's the American team, we'd like to declare an emergency. We got an engine problem here. Pressure stalls on the right engine. Sergeant 17, Roger. You can chill up the Canarsie. You can climb and maintain 2,000 if need be. Let's turn to Canarsie up to 2,000 American. What the hell was that? It wasn't fast. You're joking, right? Look, I was in total control of that machine. I wasn't taking any risks. <sighs> 49, 49.50. Thank you. Nice, I'm in. I'll look after it. See you, man. Thank you. I'm gonna propose to Lisa when we free fall. Wow, this is super awesome. I want you to film me when I give her the ring, okay? I was just having a bit of fun. Why did you do that, you shit? Lisa, wait. I can explain. Okay. 
The rain got caught in something. Look, I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Don't say a word, okay? Okay. Okay, it wasn't funny, I can see that. Nobody thought it was funny. Look, I just got a little bit distracted, it won't happen again. <sighs> Sorry, how is this any of your business? Terry, I need a word with Peter, okay? This isn't working out for me, Peter. What is it? I'm not gonna stay and watch you kill yourself. I can't. I wasn't trying to kill myself. I had loads of time. I'm gonna stay at Terry's tonight. I'll collect my stuff later. Oh, we do this stuff all the time. You know that. I know, Peter, but... So what's the problem? Because I need someone I can rely on, okay? Someone I can trust. That's not you, I'm sorry. I... Hey, I, I can change. Just, just give me one more chance. I sold the bike, didn't I? Lisa, I'm begging you. Please, Terry. No. Look, I just want to speak to her. Go home, Peter. You're embarrassing yourself. Hey, Peter. Hey. I've had a late delivery of parts coming in tonight. Bit of extra cash if you could help me out. Thanks, well, I'll skip that if that's okay with you. Anyway, I thought you were finished with all that. Ma'am, it's this last shipment. I swear. I can't, Jazz, I'm sorry. Here, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Look, my neck is on the line here. I don't like it, Jason. You said you'd never ask me again. This is the very last time. I, I swear. I promise. Just for me. How's it going, Chief? Slowly. A lot of numbers on the parts aren't matching up. Ah, uh, yeah. Chinese aren't great in paperwork, but the parts they use are just as good. Hang on. You said they were from the same factory just without the proper paperwork. Same thing. Bullshit, it's not the same thing and you know it. How long have I been handling this shit? All right, all right. Don't get your knickers in a twist. The parts you are handling are fine. Okay, okay. I should have told you. Finish this tonight, but if I ever get a hint that this is still going on, I'll put a stop to it myself. I mean it, Jason. I hear you. Look, when you're done, call up to my office and I'll uh, sort you out.
ser. Medic! Uh, Mr. Stone, please. Medic, no! Hurry! Tell him it's uh, Jason Green calling from Dublin. It's uh, very urgent. If you don't close the deal right now, I can't hold the banks back any longer. Offer them better terms. Hold your nerve. Well, I explain. I'm very pleased to say our bankers are supporting the takeover, Mr. Napier. They have confirmed the funds have been made available to us. That's delightful. I'll have our lawyers draw up the contracts. However, some of your company's uh, certification renewal will fall due shortly. We would wish that all of the AOC would be in place. We understand and appreciate that this will take some time to arrange. So I'm sure you will appreciate when I say to you, we won't be signing any contracts until the process is concluded. Your auditors have been working in the company for weeks. I understood that you were satisfied. Mr. Masood, forgive me. Are we renegotiating the deal here? Excuse me. Mr. Masood, I... I have an urgent matter I need to attend to. Will you uh, please excuse me? An investigation going to be here in an hour. Stone wants that set of files taken away to the store. All of it? Just make sure nothing is left behind, okay? I ain't paid to lug no boxes, man. Well, you can tell that to Mr. Stone when he arrives here. Stone's coming here? Yes. Oh, man, the proverbial shit is hitting the fan. So, um, are you going to help me or not? Will you relax? We'll pull the car around. I'm not doing it on my own now. Huh? Oh, uh, Okay. Green is dealing with the records as we speak. What about the police? Well, just the air accident people for the moment. I need this kept quiet till the Arabs run out of money. Everything I own is tied up in this deal. And if this stalls now, even if we manage to hide the records, They'll find the parts, and that'll close down the plant. When the deal is done, I don't give a shit what happens to the place. And until then, I need this kept under wraps. Well, I have a guy over there, Ed something. He might be useful. And the manager, uh... Green. Yeah. Is he reliable? Nobody's reliable when shit like this starts to fly. Yeah. Okay. I have some influence with the authorities over there. Arrange for the jet to be ready in one hour. Would you take it easy with the fucking jeep? So you're telling me that all of your records are in a storage facility off-site that you can't gain access to until Monday morning? Is it convenient, wouldn't you say? And that includes records for the work which was carried out here just this evening. Well, we've had some problems with our records suffering from water damage. Are you aware of your legal responsibility to have all of your files for the past two years available here at the facility for inspection at any given time? Yes. Anderson Stowers.
good. Thanks. How many people are employed there? Oh, about 800 or so. The lead investigator is a woman. I don't know much about her yet. What about the parts? Without the paperwork, it won't be an issue. You know what this is? It's a Dalmor. A 40-year-old single Highland malt. Do you drink it because you like it, or because it's expensive? <laughs> I need to see the preliminary report before we land. You'll have it. Peter Nash? Yeah? Melissa Flynn, Irish Aviation Authority. Can I ask you a few questions? What's this about? This way, please. Your initials. PN, yeah, Peter Nash? We found some discrepancies in the maintenance log, serial numbers that aren't matching up to parts fitted in the engines. This is your job? Parts management? Yeah. Well, there are other discrepancies. Here, PN. And here. And most of the next page, too. It's hard to read those dockets sometimes. Signing the log means that you are responsible for having checked each of the parts. Even those with dockets that are difficult to read. Okay. Let's move on. Parts fitted by you to an engine just two days ago. The serial numbers on the damaged aircraft don't match up either. I didn't sign for those. Stores deliver them, I just fitted them. Without checking? And what about the other aircraft? Are you just fitting parts without checking them? Everyone has to sign out every part they use. Look, it's not just my signature in that logbook. What's going on here, Peter? Is this common practice? You're not pinning this on me. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not saying anything else till I speak to a lawyer first. Am I under arrest? No, but I have more questions for you. to land. Miss Flynn, William Napier, you head in the investigation. Yes. Have you been briefed? The passenger that died. Did she have any family? Two kids. Terrible tragedy. We'd like to help you in any way we can, which is not an admission of liability, obviously. Of course. I'll get you in touch with their solicitor. Is there anything else I can help you with, Miss Flynn? Well, yes, there is, actually. Welcome to us, Mr. Thank you. Your maintenance manager, Jason Green, hasn't been able to provide any of the required paperwork here. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, when can I expect to get the files? I assure you, you'll have our full cooperation in all matters. One of the logbooks was found by the investigators. Jesus Christ. No wonder that bitch looks so smug. How in the hell did they find it? I'll find out. I pay you a lot of money to make sure that sort of thing doesn't happen. It shouldn't have happened, I know. But for the moment, all they have are a set of numbers. They don't have the parts to match. They'll find it very difficult to make the connection. And you think that's nothing? Relax. I'll handle it. Oh, 
And why have you come to Ireland? Mr. Gammon, please. Does this mean that your company accepts responsibility for the flight accidents? Maintenance values the lives and safety of all our customers. Uh, we're here to cooperate fully with the investigation so it can be concluded as soon as possible. The company will issue a full statement in due course. Yes, but that leaves questions to me. What are you hiding, Mr. Napier? Mr. Napier, please. Mr. Napier, please, we have to talk. I understand the urgency, Miss Flynn, but I'd appreciate it if you could give me a few hours to recover. It's been a very difficult time for everyone involved. Thank you. Mr. Napier, just one second. Mr. Napier, please. When is the part coming out? Tonight. Yeah, it's from Green. Why have all the oil pumps been removed from the stockroom? I'm going to have to bring all of this to the attention of the regulator. God damn it. Green did all the purchasing. His guys did all the fitting. None of the paperwork leads directly back to you. So if all this does come out after the deal goes through, the book stops with Green. And if she links the parts before the deal is concluded? I won't let that happen. Okay. You sort the parts. I'll deal with her. Right. Leave it, darling. Ah, Mr. Napier. Hello, Charlie. We need to talk. What can I do for you? I knew it. Look, I told you to be trouble. It's my name all over the logbook entries. This will all blow over in a week. Bullshit. Are you listening to yourself, Jazz? A woman died. And when's your name going to come up in all this? My name's all over this, too. Who do you think orders the parts? They're shipping the engine away for analysis tomorrow. So? We think it was a failed oil pump. You fitted it. So I'm being stitched up for this? Oh, no, I removed all the oil pumps from stock. All except one. See, the pump and the damaged engine, if you... If you remove that part, the... The whole problem disappears. No, not a chance. Listen, I don't listen, care what you're gonna me, say. Listen, tomorrow! That part's been shipped to Macros. It'll take them 30 seconds flat to see where the fault is. They'll examine the part, check it against the paperwork, then we're all screwed. If you take out the part, then there's no evidence. Just a, a theft, petty larceny. Now, I could take care of the CCTV. I have a set of keys to the store that won't have a clue who's involved. Please, ask someone else. Who, Peter? Who else could take out a part and won't ask awkward questions? You're right. I should never have come here. Let's just skip it. Take our chances. You know what, Jason? You are some bastard. I know Sam is dying to get his hands on that. Give it to him. Get in there. Get the part. Bring it to my house tonight and we'll destroy it. This will all be over soon. I promise you. Yeah, you know what your promises are worth. I'm sorry to drag you into this, Peter. I'm sure you are. Peter's bringing the part to my house tonight. Um, Mr. Napier, I don't think there should be any further orders for uncertified parts. We're not the bad guys here. The authorities demand all this unnecessary paperwork, and for what, to make flying safer? Give me a break. It keeps bureaucrats in comfortable, well-paid jobs. Do you know how many of these parts we've fitted? Not one single issue till now. Not one. <clears throat> well, 
we've been lucky. The switching out the park will only um, delay the inevitable. You're right. It may not be enough. We may need to offer a little sacrifice. <laughs> not you. <laughs> the engineer who was careless with the logbook. So you're happy to throw Peter under a bus to save your skin? And what if he's not enough? And then it's me. Well, that's not gonna happen. I can protect myself. I have copies of everything. Every file, recordings of every conversation. If anything happens to me, it'll, it'll all go to the police. Look, I understand that this thing has made us all nervous. If anyone is gonna fall on this sword, it's gonna be me. Okay? Okay. <laughs> we know you have expenses. I hope this will help. I'll let you know when I have the part. Drive safely. If anyone should fall on a sword, it shall be that guy. Piece of shit. You know, if this evidence links you to the parts, the book won't stop with Green. Green will never release the files. Are you willing to take that risk? Hmm? Buddy. Come on, Sam, let me in. I need me tools. I'm working on a bike and it's needed tomorrow. It's on my bench. It'll take two minutes. Goodbye, Peter. Go home. Good man. Come in. Hand it over. No problem. Enjoy. Oh, the hangar. You can see everything from here. Yeah. What about sound? Sound too, all recorded. What about the interview this morning? I'm not going to end up on YouTube, am I? No! Okay. Right, I'll grab my bag. I'll only be a few minutes. Hey, Sam. Don't you hate Sam me? Where were you? I was just getting this. I checked your bench. I've been calling you for ages, and I couldn't find you on the CCTV. You got cameras in the bathroom? Really? Dickie told me. 
Open the bag, Peter. What's the problem, Sam? What's going on? Don't, Peter. I'm sorry, Sam. What the hell are you doing? What the hell do you think I'm doing? You're not a body. Dump shot! Yeah? Come on, go ahead. Show me your best. Just don't you? Jace? Jace? Oh, recovery. Jace? It was only messing, right? Mr. Stone, we've got a little problem. I called you because I was hoping that you might have told him to take the part. At this time of night? And why would I do that? I was just hoping. Look, I know I shouldn't have let him in. Oh, really? And have you called the police? Well... I'm gonna start. Jason! He left the keys in the bike, man. Dad! Are. Look, this may have worked out to our advantage. The police now believe that the engineer killed Jason, and the accident investigation will focus on him, and we now know that the files are not at Green's. Well, if they're not in his house, where could they be? Well, have you considered the possibility that they don't exist? No. I've spent my life learning how to read people, and Jason was holding a full house. And the engineer, Peter Nash. I'll get Ed to track him down and keep an eye on him. So long as he's on the run, the park won't be an issue. Who is it? Harry, it's me. Peter. What the hell do you want? Do you know what time it is? Let him in. What's going on? You shouldn't have run. They're gonna catch you, Peter. You have to turn yourself in. They think I killed Jason. Look, if you just explain that you ran because you got a fright. So long as you give yourself up, they'll understand that. Even if the police believe that I had nothing to do with killing Jason, they're still gonna send me to jail for stealing the parts. I thought you said you were fitting the parts. Now you're saying you were stealing them. Jason got me to steal one of the faulty engine parts. 
to try and cover up the scam. Oh, Peter. I am so, so sorry. I didn't know that the parts were faulty. I, and by the time I realised it, it was too late. I just need just some time to try and clear my name. Please, Terry. I just need somewhere safe to hide. Just... Just for a few days. And I promise you I will turn myself in. Mr Napier, you promised us your full cooperation. But we've been asking Mr Green for the papers for two days. In fact, he hasn't even shown up for work this morning. I'm going to recommend to the regulator that he revoke your company's license and ground all of the aircraft that have been serviced here. Have you lost your mind? This is only one aircraft, one accident. You have no proof. This is all circumstantial. What, you're going to destroy this business on a, on a hunch? Hundreds of jobs will be lost. My job is to ensure public safety. And I intend to do it. I accept that public safety is a priority. But grounding every plane is unprecedented. You've left me with no choice. Your company has been wholly uncooperative. And when it turns out that you were wrong, you will pay for this personally. You're going too far. We've got work to do. Get back to it. Hey. Terry has got to work. So what are you going to do now? I need to go back to my place to get some cash. Fresh clothes and things. Yeah, well, you can't go out like that. Come on, follow me. I've got some stuff. Here, this should fit. Thanks. Yeah, we should be okay. We? Yeah, we. Thought you could do with some help. Well, nobody's looking for me, so maybe I could be a lookout. I don't want you involved in this. Should have thought of that before you came here then, shouldn't you? Hello, Flynn. Sit down. I've received an official complaint. Give me one guess. I just can't believe you accused William Napier of fraud. What the hell were you thinking? I'm sorry. I may have overstepped the mark. May have? He has a case to answer. This is not a straightforward situation, Mr. Evans. Let me show you something. Yeah, it's me. Well, the security firewall logged the transfer of a large number of files. I think we're looking for some kind of memory device, a security key. Well, something that small would be so easy to hide, it'd be almost impossible to find. Yes, sir, I have Nash's file in front of me. I have his home address, although I doubt he'll go there. I'll have Ed wait outside. He can't get into too much trouble there. Well, the paperwork is poor, that's clear. No physical evidence. No uncertified parts. Oh, William Napier will succeed with his complaint. And it does look that you're on some kind of witch hunt. I can't believe that you're prepared to overlook all of this. What about the missing part? Exactly. 
Where is the part? Where? Tell me. All we have is this. Now, Flynn, I want you to do your job properly. I want you to find evidence for the engine failure, proof of wrongdoing, before you dare to threaten anyone with closure. And that means keep away from Napier. There's a police car inside the house. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Is there another way in? Yeah, around the back, but he's still gonna see me. Right. Stay here. Say to him. It's a dog. This is Stone. You'll never guess who I'm looking at right now. Yeah, sure, I'm sure. No, he's with some girl. Maybe. I doubt it. Roger that. trying to impress on you, sir, that things are not going too well here. They've started to re-examine files that have already been passed by the auditors. You keep the process moving as quick as you can. I'll be back in a day or two. Yes, sir, I'll do my best. Thank you. Thank you. I still can't believe Jason's dead. I can't believe any of this is happening. Could only happen to you. Well, at least I'm never boring. <laughs> you know, I didn't want any of this to happen. Obviously. No, not all this. I mean, I mean us. Look, how are we going to get you out of this? I don't know. We could bring the part to John. He's an expert at this kind of thing. I'm really not sure about involving John. Well, come on. What else can we do right now? Come on. Looks like there's something wrong with the metal. Maybe to cast them. I'd have to get it tested first. Would you? Test it? It's a specialized job, testing equipment. Expensive stuff. Come on, John, please. I need to know it's a faulty part or if I made a mistake fitting it. You never said you fitted it. Looks like part failure to me. Don't tell me there's more of these in any aircraft. I didn't know they were faulty. They'll all fail sooner or later. Leave the part with John, he can get it tested. It's up to me to deal with this. You are not qualified. Sorry about that, John. And now he's bound to go to the authorities. I told you it was a stupid idea from the start. You agreed to bring it to him. Oh, because John knows all about these type of things. But are you a child? Grow up, Peter! What's going on? John said there could be faulty parts in other planes. And he forgot to tell us that he was the one who fitted the part that blew up and killed someone. You know, you are just a bastard and a coward. Okay, one question. Were you paid extra to fit those parts? <laughs> See, Terry, it's all lies. Just get out. Leave, now. I'm calling the police and I'm telling them everything. Okay, don't. Give him a chance to hand himself in. Okay, you can stay tonight. Then in the morning, hand yourself in. 
If you don't, I'm doing the job for you. Flynn last night. I've arranged to give her the part. Look, I never meant to say it was your fault. Come on, I'll drop you to work. No, I'll go with you. This is the part that caused the crash. I need to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's my mess and I'll fix it. Peter, Melissa Flynn. I really can't talk now. Well, I've been waiting 20 minutes. Look, I'm really sorry. I I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. What are you doing here? The gate was open. I, I just You're wanted a picture. You're to have clearance to be in here. Go on. I'm sorry, man. Look, I'll, I'll go now. Go on, go on. was trying to steal that from us. That, that's from our jet. Yeah, good job, good job. If he had the part, he may also know where the files are. If he has the files, why hasn't he come to us? Maybe he doesn't know what they're worth. Who knows? That investigator, Flynn, she's pushing for the records. I may not be able to hold her up much longer. A fire at the storage depot. I'll make it look like kids. Preferably with Flynn inside the building. <laughs> you know, I was kidding about Flynn, right? Yes, sir. Very amusing. Jeez, that guy. I've ordered an inspection of one of the other aircraft that he's maintained recently. So I'll just need your signature for that. Is that it? You heard uh, Jason Green 
the maintenance manager for the company. He was killed. Oh, I understood that was a botched robbery. That's what the police think. But guess who they're looking for? Peter Nash. This Peter Nash. P.N. The guy who stole the part. So why do you think Napier was involved? Sounds like you have your man. I don't believe two low-level employees would have cooked up this scheme for themselves. It's too convenient. Replacing certified parts with non-spec parts, that's worth hundreds of millions. For that kind of money, you can buy engineers, police, maybe even someone in this building. Be careful what you say, Flynn. You don't have so many friends in this place that you can afford to make an enemy of me. Yes, give me the number for the Irish Times, please. The plane is registered to Napier. Look, that's his head of security. I don't understand why Napier's head of security would be following you. He owns the jeep that I saw following Jason. Peter, we have to go to the police. I told you, I can't. But I can. And I tell them about the jeep and the parts and everything. Yeah, and that leads them right back to me. Look, let them figure out who killed Jason. You're gonna have to answer for what you did eventually. You stole some parts. You didn't murder anyone, okay? Remember when you said you'd teach me how to ride a motorbike? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? You want to do it now? Oh, might be fun. Okay, let's do it. This one's the brake. Most important, that's the brake, okay? <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. thing is way out of hand. Peter Nash called me to meet and then never even turned up. And now this? Peter wouldn't do this. I drew the short straw. Uh, Sergeant Redmond. Nothing uh, important, I hope. Just some files that could have saved people's lives, that's all. 
Excuse me. I have a phone call to make. Oh, hello, Flynn. Hello, Mr. Evans. Sorry to disturb you so late at night, but there's been some developments. All of Napier's files have been destroyed. An arson attack looks like vandalism or kids. But I know that's not it. Yes, before you go on, earlier I received a phone call from an old schoolmate of mine. Really? Over at the Times. Now I'd like you to come in to see me tomorrow morning at my office. But what about the files? We'll talk then. Bastard. I can't believe I've been suspended. There's no way you'd leak information to the press. Jesus, Melissa. More people are gonna die, I can feel it. So the ground on the aircraft then? Apparently that's not my concern anymore. Cheers. What's the plan? Oh, I'd like to hear what Mr. Napier has to say about what's going on in this company. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> well, you'll need a witness. And somebody to remind you when you forget what to ask. <laughs> Come on. Mr. Napier, did you know what Jason was doing with the parts? Straight to the point. I like that. I do know that the police are looking for you for Jason's murder. What stops me ringing them right now? Because I didn't murder Jason. All I did was take the engine part. I admit that. And you're going to help Peter because it's the right thing to do. And if I don't? Jason promised me that I wouldn't get into trouble for this. I think it's only fair for you to keep that promise. And how much is this promise going to cost me? It's not going to cost you anything. Look, I didn't kill Jason. Somebody did, and they need to be brought to justice. Oh, and you need to let the police know that I took the part under instruction from the company. What, and then you give me Jason's files? Why would I have Jason's files? Let's not play games here. I need the files, and I'm prepared to pay for them. Can you give us a few days, please? Take all the time you need. Don't you get it? He's not going to clear your name. He's going to give up Jason's killer to the police. Yeah, but how could he do that? Well, what was all that stuff about Jason's files, then? Have you got his files? No. Jason never gave me anything. Napier wants it badly. It must be important. But what files could Jason have that Napier wants so badly? Bastards! Robbed us! Listen, Lisa. We need to get out of here quickly. This is how I found Jason's. 
Look, we're in danger here. No, it's just a robbery. Oh, they didn't even take the television. No. Whoever did this, they were after the files that Napier asked about. But we don't have them. Do you think they'll believe that? We need to go, quickly. Come on, and pack. Come on. Thank you. Passport? Just one moment, please. Could you come to the desk straight away? Please, thank you. We have to go. Through there. Hey, listen, sorry, man. It's an emergency. Okay? Fool. Stupid, bloody fool. Look, we got away. We're all right. Hi, this is Terry. I can't get to the phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll call you back. Terry's still not answering. Who the hell told you to search your apartment? What was your plan, numbnuts? Another random break-in? How dumb do you think the cops are? You don't make a fucking move without my say-so. Yeah, well, the way I see it, when I find the files Mr. Napier is looking for, I won't have to listen to your shit any longer. In fact, why don't you just piss off, you slimy motherfucker? Mister, you have no idea who you're dealing with. Maybe I just don't give a shit. You pull a gun on me, you better be prepared to use it. Oh, I'm prepared. Are you? Now fuck off. There's no one here. Shh, watch out. Oh! Jesus, Jesus Terry! Oh god! Oh, it's us. I'm so oh. sorry. I, I thought they were coming back. Why didn't you call oh. us? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, thank God you're alright. Who did all this? We don't know. Oh, am I bleeding? Do we need stitches? No, you're okay. I'll get you a plaster. Peter has something they want. I don't have anything. Why would no one believe me? What do they want? It doesn't matter. The police have my passport. We're not going anywhere. There, you're fine. <sighs> Except there's no passport. You could go by ferry. Passport. Anyway. We already tried that. Or maybe a small trawler or a sailing boat then? Seriously? Do you know anyone who has a small sailing boat? Take it easy, she's only trying to help. So, the drop tomorrow into Carnarvon, that's off, I'm guessing. Well, I can't do that now. Terry, that's a brilliant idea. Carnarvon's in Wales. So what? It's a small airfield, no customs, no police. We could fly over with you. Me and Lisa will stay in the plane while you do your drop. If the coast is clear, radio us. And then we'll just jump and disappear somewhere in the UK. What do you think? It could work, I suppose. Masood's people haven't been here all day. No request for files, no contact whatsoever. Is it possible they completed the paperwork? I doubt it. This is very unusual. They've been practically living in my ear up till now. I don't like it. See what you can find out. Call me right back. Trouble? Maybe. The Arabs have gone to ground. What's taking so long here? When I tackled Ed about searching the girl's house, he told me to talk to you. Is there something I should know? I think a more direct approach is required. 
Softly, softly is getting us nowhere. This is usually my end. Why now? Using that psycho is like trying to open an egg with a sledgehammer. He's already killed someone and brought the cops all over us. All over him, you mean? I need to. Ammo. What do I owe? We're quits. By the way, Again. Don't bother looking me up, okay? Did you sleep okay? Not really. Lisa, what's going on? I'm not sure I'm going to come with you. Changed. I really have. Time to get off you two. We leave in 20 minutes. Just let me explain. Come on, move. She's not gonna wait. Well, if you could just sign there, that'd be perfect. Have you seen this man? In about one minute, two policemen are going to come out of that lift. Are you going to run or stay? That day you broke up with me, I wasn't trying to open late. What's up? Ah, uh, two. Something got snagged around my neck. Going up. Oh, Lisa Quinn, I love you. to marry him and I said yes wow <laughs> we have to meet him at the airfield though okay two more minutes please John okay we have to go How the hell they find out? Somebody must have talked. So go find out who? I'll deal with it. The way you usually do? I'll deal with this myself.
Make sure everything is okay before you contact us. Remember, no customs, no police. You owe me big for this. Hey Mike, how's it going? Good jump. Not too bad. Hey, has Terry jumped yet? She jumped after us. She must still be on the way down. I can't see her. Are you sure she's... Oh, Jesus! Terry! No! I'm an ambulance! Oh, my God! Oh, Terry! Did you see her shoot open? The airfield's closed. Her body's on the runway. Please, John, just, just one more minute. I'm low on fuel. I have to go back. Have any files? Have I got your attention now? Oh, please, I, I don't have them, but I, I guess I'll bring them to you. Please, just please don't shoot her. Yeah. Ooh. I'll hang on though. Until you bring us the files, yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Get out of control, you know that? I'm just doing my job, all right. Hello, Miss Flynn. It's Peter Nash. Are you all right? It would help if we knew what we were looking for. We're missing something. I know we are. Go through it again for me. Slowly. Okay. Jason came to my house. He asked me to grab the part and bring it here. Okay. Oh, when I got here, I found him on the floor, covered in blood. Oh, then the police arrived. I, I panicked. I just grabbed the bike and... What? memory stick. It's Jason's memory stick. Oh, I've had it the whole time. No deleted files, no hidden files. I don't get it. I know that Jason thought that this was important. I can't waste any more time on this. You have to come to the police and tell them about the faulty parts. Hang on. You didn't eject that properly. Maybe there are no files. Oh, Napier doesn't know that. Wait! Look, Peter, you're playing around with people's lives here, including Lisa's. Napier and his kind never go to prison. It's just mugs like me. 
I have to try to save her. You have to tell the police everything that you told me. We need to warn them about the faulty parts or more people will be killed. Please, Peter, you can't just think of yourself on this. I need you to do this with me, Peter. They're not going to believe me. Lisa? Lisa? <laughs> I knew I'd get another crack at you! It's not what it looks like. I'm looking for uh, someone. You are coming with me, sunshine! We're here for the kid, hand him over. Hey, I know you. No way, I'm taking him to the police. We just want to talk to him. Fuck off. It's a BB gun, a bleeding amateur, yeah. Hey, hey, ah, no, easy. Please. He's had enough. For God's sake, it's me you want. Back off. He's only after fainting. Priorities. I have the files. Where's Lisa? You have them with you now? Yeah, but I want to see Lisa first. File first. Just shoot him, will you? Shut the fuck up. Are you? Revenge! That's my fucking jeep! Get out. Out, sorry. You go to hell. I see you in court. Cry out, baby girl. Go to hell. Come out where I can see ya. Switch on those lights. Or she won't look at herself in the mirror when I'm finished with her. Switch on the bloody lights. I have the evidence. Lisa, everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Peter! Shut up! Please, don't hurt her. Switch on the bloody lights! Peter! Shut up! 
Okay. Okay, Jason, he gave you he gave you a memory stick, didn't he? Yeah. Loads of files on it. Full of stuff of what Napier was doing with the parts. Some nice photos of you in it. What do you want? First, let Lisa go. That's not gonna happen. Give me the stick, and you both walk out of here wealthy people. You can't make any deals. Only Napier can. I want to speak to him myself. He's not gonna come down here, Peter. What do you say we both go to the hotel, huh? Yeah, sure. So you can kill me like you murdered Jason? Me? Murder Jason? That doesn't make any sense. Why would I kill him if I didn't have the files? Well, who did it then? I know it was you. I saw your Jeep. That's not my Jeep. Well, whose is it then? Tell me or I'll make the files public. What the hell? It was Ed, okay? Ed killed him. There's the moron you've been looking for now, huh? Nice one, Stahl. Very nice. I don't understand. Why did you kill Jason? And John, John, he never hurt anyone. Jason? That was an accident. He wouldn't give me the files. And the pilot, that was your own fault. I'll give you what you came for if you let Lisa go. See, can you find his face? I'm afraid I can't let that happen now, can I? There are three people in this hangar. They can put me behind bars. Bad bloody time. And a fourth that needs to make a decision. Isn't that right, Mr. Napier? Right. Mr. Napier, tell that lunatic to put down his gun. Decision time, Mr. Napier. You want me to clean up this mess? Crunch time! Go ahead. Ah! Police! Drop your weapon! Get back or she's dead! Here, shit. There was no files on it. Lisa! Take it easy for the next couple of days. Sorry, son. We'll need you to come to the station tomorrow, so you can make a formal statement. Don't worry. You did the right thing. Thanks. Okay? Hey, so I guess it all worked out. In the end. How are you gonna get home? You can't drive the bike with that arm. I think we'll be okay. The winning ticket was bought in the southeast. Yes, of luck. And news Thank you. just in. All flights out of Ireland have been cancelled due to an unprecedented order from the Irish Aviation Authority. Incoming flights are unaffected for the moment, but intending passengers are requested to contact their airline before travelling to the airport. In a statement, a spokesman for the Aviation Authority said the delays were unavoidable, and he apologised for any inconvenience. Well, there's no point to go to the airport. Everything's been cancelled. You just keep going. It's chaos. You want money? This is Charles Evans. Leave name, leave time. Thank you. How's your neck? I live. I didn't mean to put you in danger. I know. At least Napier will pay for what he's done. Damn it! The police won't find Napier at his hotel. I know where he's going. The Jess? We'll ring the police then. The police won't get there in time. Lisa, we have to stop him. He's gonna get away. Not if I can help us. We can catch 
Mr. Napier, there's a jeep on the runway. Got me. I'll be out of here in an hour. I doubt it. Get your hands off. Get your hands off me. Don't you know who I am? I'll have your badges for this. I'll have your badges for this. today to join Peter Nash and Lisa Quinn as they make a jump of faith into marriage. Do you, Peter, take Lisa to have and to hold from this day forth so long as you both shall live? Absolutely. I mean, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> do you, Lisa, take Peter? I do. <laughs> Lisa, you are the love of my life. Peter, I know every day is going to be an adventure with you. I love you. You make it surprise. 